via Google Play for Android, iTunes, or Spreaker. Stop doing that. Wake up. Get up. Anyway. Coming up on the other side, we will talk with a great friend of the show, Keneal Maynard. He's been rocking with us since his days at Winston-Salem State University. And so we're going to talk to him coming up right here on the HBCU Report. Don't forget, as I've just mentioned, we are available on demand via Google Play for Android and iTunes. And when we're not here, we're there. There is sportsnewsandbrews.com where we are currently looking for contributors. Don't forget to hit me up at um, hbcureport at gmail.com if you're interested. And uh, we'll see what uh, what we can make happen. All right. This is the HBCU Report being heard via 2 live radio.com And we'll be right back with Coach Keneal Maynard after these words. It's the HBCU Report with Bob Calloway. Dave, what are you doing? Just sending a gift to Dave2037. Who? Me in the future. I save a little money from every paycheck as a gift to Dave2037 so he can spend it on things like anti-gravity boots or a hologram Doberman. Something cool like that. I think Dave2037 deserves it. He worked hard. What are you getting Steve2037? I guess I was thinking Steve2037 would just fend for himself. Well, all right. But don't expect to be borrowing my anti-gravity boots. You want to have money in your future? You got to start saving now. Putting some money from every paycheck into a savings account or contributing to your 401k can make a big difference later. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free ideas and easy ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. That's feedthepig.org. Hey, let's just hope Steve2037 doesn't get his hands on a cold time machine because he is going to come back here and knock some sense into you. This message brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. HBCU sports fans, you finally have a voice. The HBCU experience lives here. This is the HBCU Report with Rob Calloway. This is the HBCU Report being heard via 2 Radio.com. Rob Calloway here. Thank you guys for tuning in, however you may be listening. Don't forget to check out our content partner. When we're not here, we're there. There is sportsnewsandbrews.com. And, of course, as we've been talking today, we have uh, one of the big games uh, in HBCU football coming up, the Battle of the Real HU, talking about the Hampton University Pirates taking on the Howard University Bison. Uh, One o'clock kickoff from Hampton, Virginia. And right now, it's been a while since we had him on the show, uh, but a good friend of the show, Connell Maynard, joins us, head coach of the Hampton University Pirates, and they've got some big news. Uh, first of all, Coach, welcome back to the show. Thank you. Uh, thanks for having me. Not a problem, man. So uh, let's just jump into the big news of the week, and the big news is that Hampton is leaving the MEAC in favor of the Big South. So what does this move mean for the university, Coach? Uh, a lot more exposure. Um, you know, uh, they got TV, TV deals and, and, and things of that nature where, you know, now the parents can sit at home if we recruit nationwide and, and watch their son or daughter play on, uh, on TV every week. And, uh, you know, for us football, um, it's back, uh, chance to win a national championship. You get an automatic bid to the playoffs and, uh, you know, the big South has been known to get two teams in before, and uh, really don't have a lot of teams in football. Uh, probably once we joined, it'd be eight. Uh, but, you know, when you got to talk about six, seven teams and you're getting two in the playoffs, uh, you know, that's hard to beat. So, um, and, you know, Hampton is always going to be HBCU, uh, you know, just because we're in the Big South, don't mean we're not going to be HBCU. And we're going to try to keep our rivalry games against Howard and, and Norfolk State. Now, I'm glad that you said that because that was going to be one of my next questions is, um, how important is it to make sure that you keep uh, Norfolk and Howard on the schedule? I think it's very important. You know, uh, those are two uh, long-time rivals, and, and you know, Norfolk's right across the street, and Howard is down the road, but it's battle the real HU that we play that this week. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's only eight teams in the big shot in football, so we have three the full spots every year, and we would love to have uh, – um, one of those two of those spots to be uh, Howard and uh, Norfolk every year. Absolutely. But of course, you know that got that got to go both ways. Right. You you absolutely right about that. Now, uh, when you talk about recruiting, how does how does a move like this going from the MEAC to to the Big South? How do, does this change the whole recruiting process for you now? I think it's going. I think it's going to help. You know, I think like I say, uh, 
you know, Hampton always been HBCU, so we have always better get the traditional HB, HBCU kid for a parent that that went HBCU, and uh, so, and then we also be to say you know, we in the Big South, we on TV. You get to, you know you get to watch every game and and uh, what you call. So I, I think it's a it's a win win situation uh, all the way around for us, and uh, I'm excited for for the for the young men and young women of uh, Hampton University to have opportunity to expand like this. This is the HBCU Report. Rob Calloway on the line right now with Connell Maynard. He is the head football coach of the Hampton University Pirates. They are in action uh, today, 1 o'clock kickoff versus Howard University and the Battle of the Real HU. Uh, now, uh, you know, you, you I've known you for a while now. And uh, you, you moved from the CIAA and went to Salem where, you, where it was a juggernaut up there. Uh, you leave there to go to Hampton. Uh, which was in the MEAC, uh, still in the MEAC right now. But when you when you left Winston Salem to come over to Hampton, what was a, a move uh, a, of this magnitude? Was was it already in the works, or is this something that, that just kind of popped up on the radar? No, I, I knew from uh, day one that uh, you know one of the things me and the President talked about was uh, trying to expand this con- this uh, expand our conference and, and and move out of the the MEAC and. Um, and uh, win national championships. So it's, this is one of the things that we talked about uh, early on. And so um, here it is four years later, and it's happened. So, uh, yeah, we, we, I knew from the get-go. Okay, very good. So, uh, you know, when you talk about the team, you know, you you got this junior quarterback up there, uh, uh, Delmon Williams. Uh, for, for those in, in our listening audience that haven't had the opportunity of seeing this young kid play, uh, talk to us uh, about him uh, from a leadership standpoint. Uh, he's a leader, you know. He's uh, he's still, you know, just young in our system, uh, but he has a lot of potential, and uh, and uh, he he's a uh, he, he does everything we ask him to do. He's just not quite uh, where we need him to be as far as uh, uh, the system. Um, but you know, he has his good days and he has his bad days, like any other quarterback. And um, he's going to be, you know, he still has another year, so he he should have outstanding year next year. Absolutely. Now. Uh, your team is currently on a, a three-game losing streak, uh, looking to to snap that right here against uh, Howard University. So, from an execution standpoint, coach, what has to happen for you guys to get this W versus a, a very, very well coached Bison team? Well, first of all, we got to slow down their offense. You know, I think they have the number one offense in the league, and uh, we we think we got a pretty good defense. So, we need to slow down uh, Newton and uh, and the and their offense, and you try to contain those guys. And then we have to do a better job in in the red zone. Uh, we're moving the ball, getting down in the red zone, and uh, we just we haven't been getting it in here lately. So we just got to do a better job offensively, executing, and defensively. Uh, kind of play the way we've been playing uh, all year. We've been in every game except for last last week in the conference was the first game that didn't come down to the last team had the ball had a chance to win. So we just got to get back to playing uh, solid football and take care of the football. And finally, wrapping up with Connell Maynard, head football coach of the Hampton University Pirates. They are in action versus Howard University in the battle of the real HU. One o'clock kickoff uh, from Hampton, Virginia. Uh, now, as, as you guys get ready for your what is your final appearance as a member of the MEAC in the battle of the real HU, uh, you look at this Bison team. Uh, uh, coach uh, Mike London has, has done a, a great job since coming over to the conference. I, I mean, I really think that they they probably surprised a, a, a lot of teams. Uh, but you know, now that now that we know that you all are leaving the MEA, do you have any uh, fun memories uh, of being a part of the conference? Uh, well, you know, it's just a, it's a tough conference, and um, you know, a lot of a lot of good football, a lot of good teams, and um, you know, it's a lot of good coaches. I tell you that it, it's, it's no uh, no day off. Every week, you got to be prepared to play, and if you're not, you're gonna get beat. And uh, and you know. <laughs> Slack on one team, you know, I got to say and respect all fear none. And you better do that every week in this conference. If not, you're going to get your butt kicked. And uh, that's the best thing about this conference. Uh, front to bottom is, is pretty solid. Absolutely. Well, here's Kanel Maynard, head football coach of the Hampton University Pirates. Coach, thank you so much for joining the show. Win, lose, or draw, we wish you nothing but the best of luck. And, uh, and congratulations on the move to the Big South. Thank you. Appreciate it. The HBCU experience lives here. The HBCU Report with Rob Calloway. We'll be right back. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Jason Derulo. I love that music connects to people all over the country. But unfortunately... 
so does something else. Childhood hunger. 15 million kids struggle with hunger right here in America. And yet, every year, billions of pounds of surplus food in the U.S. go to waste instead of going to the children in need. Feeding America is working to change this. The Feeding America nationwide network of food banks rescues this surplus of food to help provide meals to families in virtually every community in the United States, including yours. But they just can't do this alone. Join me in the fight against hunger in America. For more information on what you can do to get involved, visit feedingamerica.org. That's feedingamerica.org. Together we can solve hunger. Together we're feeding America. A message from Feeding America and the Ad Council. From Clark Atlanta to Morehouse to Spellman, it's the HBCU Report with Bob Calloway. This is the HBCU Report being heard via 2 Radio.com. Rob Calloway here. Welcome back to the show. Thank you guys for tuning in, however you may be list- listening. Another uh, wonderful Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon for us, some great football action. And uh, coming up today at 1 o'clock, there's a little game being played up in Hampton, Virginia. You might have heard of it. They call it the Battle of the Real HU. Talking about the Howard University Bison taking on the Hampton University Pirates. And right now we're being joined by the head coach of the Bison. Mike London joins us for the first time on the HBCU Report. First of all, Coach, uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Look forward to speaking with you. Uh, Not a problem, man. So uh, as a veteran coach with big-time coaching experience as well as national championship experience, what made this Howard job so attractive to you? Well, you know, I I believe that uh, timing is important to encounters. And, um, you know, after I left Virginia, I was at Maryland, and uh, we had just went to a a bowl game. And I was kind of sitting around, and Kerry Davis, the athletic director, called and said, they were trying to uh, just kind of get thoughts and ideas on, on uh, you know, making a uh, you know, Howard program, uh, you know, even more uh, attainable for young men, you know, not only in the classroom, but definitely on the field. So I started out kind of being maybe probably a, a guy that was going to, you know, give information about it. And then uh, before long, he just said, well, why don't you do it? And so, uh, you know, I, uh, I feel really, really blessed and honored to have been uh, a head coach in two other institutions. Um, there were some situations that went on that allowed me to hire my own staff, uh, the resources that were uh, committed, you know, to Howard by President Frederick and, uh, and Kerry Davis were something that, you know, that I couldn't couldn't walk away from. So I have my son on my staff. Uh, I have a full complement of coaches. You know, there are other things that they, they just uh, they made, uh, uh, you know, kind of made an offer that in terms of running a program that, uh, that with the type of academic uh, reputation that Howard has, to try to make that also synonymous with on the field expectations and competing for championships. So, you know, I, I, I just I just felt that it was it was a great opportunity for me and and uh and I'm glad I took the uh you know took the chance. Absolutely. Now uh game one of the of this season you and your team gained national attention after completing a, the largest upset in college football history, a 43-40 win over UNLV. Now, after a victory of that magnitude, Coach, now you can't just give the, the standard, oh, that was a good team win speech. Now, now, what went on in the locker room? I know it was a lot more than that, right? Well, I'm not going to lie with you. Human nature, I jumped up and down and celebrated Absolutely. with the players. I mean, it was one of those. Yeah, you, you, I mean, you got you to be, be transparent and be real. I mean, obviously, you know, uh, Overcoming the largest uh, point spread deficit in the history of college football—that's something. Uh, that's something that's uh, that's an incredible, incredible feat. And uh, just wanted to share with the players. It, it uh, galvanized our university. Uh, the community rallied around us, and uh, it, it was just something that was so uh, unbelievably uh, gratifying to see players and, and alumni, stakeholders, just to embrace. You know, embrace an athletic part of what uh, how it has. I mean, back in 1993, when Jay Walker was the quarterback, that was the last time that they really won right. big. And then, you know, it, so it was it was a blessing just to kind of see uh, some things come to fruition when you talk about Mission Possible. That's our that's our, our statement. That's our, our team motto going into this this year was Mission Possible. With man, all uh, things are impossible. With him, all things are possible. So you know, we, we just adopted that philosophy. I'm a glass half filled guy. I'm, I'm I'm an encourager. I look for the best in people, and I'm a relationship guy too. So those things have really worked uh, in a positive favor for us. 
Now, it's finally that, and this is the HBCU Report. Rob Calloway on the line right now with Mike London, uh, head football coach of the Howard University Bison, as they prepare for uh, today's matchup against the uh, Hampton University Pirates. It is the Battle of the Real HU, 1 o'clock kickoff from Hampton. 